Hey guys, Paul here. I'm going to give you a really quick intro to Basecamp, Basecamp.com. Uh, I think it's referred to as Basecamp 3 every now and again. I see that up and down. Really easy way to collaborate with your team, to uh, share files, share folders, uh, get projects done, uh, work with your clients. A lot of web designers use Basecamp to get client work sorted. So say you're doing a website, you, you create a project and you can let the client know what state you're in and where any questions you've got. It's all in one place, which is why it's called Basecamp. So it's all, um, it's an integration tool for you to communicate with your team and your customers better. So um, I'll do it, I'm gonna do it. I always do my videos because I work with a lot of security companies. So I'll do it as a security company, but it's gonna work for your company and you'll see the benefits in whatever your, um, looking for so let's go through pricing first though because if you're not expecting to pay anything then this might not be for you right so there's a price the pricing is 99 a month but that's for unlimited users and unlimited uh, projects right so you can use as many clients as you want and as many um uh, customers as you want clients whatever you're going to call it there is a cheaper version and let me show you if you're a if you're a freelancer working with clients, when you go in there, there's a $49 version that lets you have three users. So that's three of your team on there and unlimited projects. So um, that's $50. I'll show you that when it shows me inside it. So well, let's just get started. Um, so I'll put in an email address, security at politicalson.com. So I'll do it as a security company just because it's, it's e I used to be a security technician, so it's easier for me to, uh, I used to be a manager of a security company, so uh, let's call it Happy Me Security. So I can I can talk to you comfortably about um, service manager, right? In this aspect. So anyway, your company name, Happy Me Security, your name, Paul Nicholson, your job title, password, da 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 da. I always try not to read my password out loud. Do you have any of these teams? I have sales, I have marketing, I have a finance team. Redesign the website, we're gonna do that. What site? Uh, PaulNicholson.com. Applying an event, what event? I don't know, new, new cameras. Launch, I think it's gonna set some stuff up here. Oh, launching a new product. <laughs> Okay, so let's get rid of this. Uh, ah, right, so you can or can't fill all that in. It doesn't really matter, right? It's just gonna auto-populate some stuff for you, or it's gonna tailor some training for you. So that's, you're in, you're gonna get a message from the boss. You can see here, it's set up those teams for me. So what you've got in a basic overview is your little center at the top, then your teams, which are the people who work for your company and then your projects, which are companies com uh, are, like you put there, launching new camera system, redesigning, uh, paulnicholson.com. So the project side, you can add clients, customers to. The team is for you and your team, right? So what do you do? You might go finance and add, um, invite people to the team. So I'm gonna put accountant, email, Accountant at paulnicholson.com. Accountant uh, billing, right? Billing at. I have a catch all email, so anything I put before Paul Nicholson comes, comes to me, right? Send invitation. Now, so that is the three users on that, on that cheaper plan. <clears throat> if you're on the 99 you're going to get it um you're going to get as many as you want but the team aspect is you can only get three if you're on the cheaper version so here's my welcome email here's my invite um for finance to uh, to join base camp to join me in base camp right and then this one's going to be sorry added you to finance in base camp is the team that was for accountant and this one's for billing uh, let me copy that link and open 
Safari. And then this what this is what your accountant will get. Make a new account. Pre-populate name. Put in a password. Confirm a password. And okay. So that's billing in. You want it to allow or not? You know, I'm not going to let it, but you can. It'll pop up and send you stuff. So if if now our team of finance is there, you've got um, basically a campfire, which is just a quick stream of what's up to. You know, it's like a it's like a talking stream. It's a a quick message stream. So on up here. I've got now a notice saying it's a campfire and uh, on this campfire. So it's basically, the, the theory is you're sitting around a campfire um, talking, right? Just a straight chat, chat. Your email comes through when you get a, Billy just started chatting in the campfire, join in. Uh, I'm guessing you can tag each other as well at, yeah, there you go, you just click at <laughs> billing. You're doing a fine job. <laughs> I always sort of lose a plot when I'm talking to myself in these things. So, right, so finance, uh, Paul then just mentioned you, right? So, obviously, if you're going at, at, oh yeah, accountant, at, Billing need to do month end billing today, please. Right, so you would send them that message, they would both get an email you've been mentioned, and it tells them there actually. And you can jump in and reply to that um, message. Right now, the message board might be more of a, it's more of a update. So, you know, um, John Smith invoice not paid. You know, John Smith, Smythe owes 2,000 pound, need to follow up, uh, he has, questions, something like that, right? And then you can, when I post this, everyone everyone will get it, so you can change it so they don't. So right, so now you've got a, uh, oh, there's a hey, so here, John Smith, invoice not paid, billing says cool, I'll follow up, right? Um, so then you've got uh, billing follow up with John Smith. Add to list, right? Um, make payment, assign to billing, uh, add this to do. Uh, answer queries, always oh, query, assign to accountant, add to list, right, you know, um, documents and files, so I, I'll just keep going through it because I think you're getting the gist of what it can do. So the to-do list, you can schedule, um, call John Smith, John Smith's a busy guy, like a meeting, um, I'm going to call him tomorrow at, I don't know, 11.30. Call with John, right? When I post this, don't notify anyone, let me choose who to notify. So you can say, okay, I'll let them know that I've booked that meeting. Obviously, that'd drive them mad, but. So, um, Billing's got a, a meeting with John Smith. I'm not sure. So I see this John Smith with Billing. You might go cool. Let me know if you want me in on that call. Add this comment. So scheduling automatic check-in. So what you can do is um, 
is set up an auto. You can you can send a message at a set time every week. Hey, how's billing going this week? All right. So, who do you want to ask? I'm going to ask all my cat my thingy. I'm going to send it on a Thursday, um, and I'm going to send it at 2 p.m. You know, because that's a chilled out time. Start collecting answers, right? So that would that would send an email out every or send a message. Um, I was billing going out every Thursday, and they jump in. Hey, we're all over it. We're all on it. So they get an email every Thursday. I don't know if I can send it now. I'd stop asking people. I don't think that came through, did it? Okay, so I'm getting me emails on these, on these um, schedules. I'm getting this messages. And so, oh, here you go. Billing answered. Assigned to you. Oh no, um, that was because I assigned that to do list. So they get a, you know. A message saying, "Oh, it's going to log me out now. Don't log me out. It's going to get. They're getting all the messages saying you've been added to this to-do list. Let me jump in. Yep, I've done that. Uh, answer queries. That's done. Right. Um, documents and files is pretty self-explanatory. You can upload. Um, so you might start a new folder. Um, payment docs." You might start for folder bank info. Uh, capital bank info. And then you might go into that and then start a new document. Bank info sort code account number etc. You know. Save uh, poster docs and then that's there or you can just straight out go into and upload a file you can link a Google Doc if you've connected to your Google Docs you can look link that um, so I think you get getting the gist that that's the team aspect of it now the customer the all this um, the project sorry the projects further down projects part right so if you can do a new project it, you know um, stick with John Smith John Smith CCTV system right you can choose your team members so invite people to join um, add people so you know we can choose to join John Smith right John Smith John Smith at, uh, I don't know if that'll come to me actually. Oh no. Right, send invitation. Uh you must be able to the people on the client side. Who is the client? Oh people I've just added um people on our side, people on I should have put client client name here. John Smith. This should have been John Smith. Um at for me .co UK, I'm sure will come to me <laughs> okay so you don't invite the client right in but you can send them a message so you can send quick set quick intro to base cam send this to the client so you can tell him how to get in what to do uh, and then you can update him within that uh, message so here's John Smith Hello, I just want to officially kick off our project. So then he can jump in and view that. I'm guessing there's an email there that says there's a code on it, right? Yeah, pin number here, right? So I'm not gonna jump through, but I think you're getting that you're gonna be able to allow your client to see things, um, you know, get their approval. So you might send them a quick message, um, type in the client. Need your okay on camera position moving camera from west to east wall, whatever, right? Uh, 
Choose a date. I need it tomorrow. Want to see see anybody? Yeah, I'll send it to Billin. Do I have to do that? Oh, oh, I've only, I haven't. I've only added. Uh, I haven't added to this product ever. So this is John Smith as part of my team. I won't do it. Uh, I need to add into that project my team. So for your eyes only. So this this is contacting the client your team being able to see what's been said and sent and then this part is your is your guys working on that um project so you might schedule camera install all day on friday you know install job 9872 one <laughs> cameras right when I notify let me choose up to notify it's going to notify John Smith um, oh isn't this isn't the client this is that I added him um, I added him as a member of this board didn't I so let's go back I don't remove people so John, I'll remove this John Smith because it's it's confusing. I will add add a personal note to invitation. Um, why isn't it letting me add people that are on my um, that are already on my list? Oh, there you go, Billy. <laughs> you can see that I don't. I haven't used it a lot, but I have start. I've just signed up for it again because I know it's really good. I know it's really good for for contacting people, for being in touch with people, um, and you know, collaborating on what needs to be done or what they've got and so it's just really good. It's just a really good thing to to use campfire. How's the install going? Billing's gonna see a campfire. John Smith CCT TV. Yeah, all good. Another day uh, we will be Finish. So that would be your installer. It wouldn't be obviously billing. Um, and again, you'd have a schedule. You'd have your uh, check-ins. Checking uh, how's this job? Have you built it? To do, you're going to be job progress. Maybe add the list. Uh, install buy equipment. Um, Equipment arrived. Install equipment. <laughs> right, check install complete, and then bill him, bill, bill job. Right, and that'd be it. And you, so you've got your to do list. You have got your job chat board you've got messages if there's actual things there you say you know um, camera license software software key you know if you've got to put in some software <clears throat> for that CCTV system you might want to put the um, you might want to put the license key there to say it so you've got you've got if I go back to the start, you've got latest activity at the top. It's going to show me everything that's going on in my business. It's going to let me jump in to my teams, see what's happening in finance, see what's happening in sales, see what's happening in install service or whatever that is for you. It's going to let me jump to my projects, see what my team's doing on these projects, see how they're getting on. And... Um, Let's me message the client asking straight away uh, how everything is. So Paul just started chatting in campfire, base camp, John Smith. Uh, so yeah, so I got a bit confused and I'm getting a base camp email overload now. Um, so you can set it all up. Um, there's obviously other great features that I may not be telling you, but I just wanted to make this as fast as possible. Um, you know, you get your notifications like you would on Facebook or anything like that. You get your, your your campfires that you're following. I guess you can turn them off if you don't. You're not interested. 
uh, let's say you jump to latest activity, you jump into something. Uh, you add your logo here if you want. Uh, Where are we? Happy me security. Yeah, let's just stick this one in. I think that might be a join us email. Oh no, that's all right. So you put your logo in. Oh, if you've if you've bookmarked things for later. So if you go to latest activity and then da -da -da -da, send a message. Message here. So basically, you might flag that bookmark and just tag it. So when you come up here, you've got. My bookmarks is one, so now you see that. But you're keeping an eye on closer. Uh, my recent activity. So I think you see what I'm saying. Um, so if I go up here now, Basecamp says an upgrade. And I don't know why on mine it offers me a $49 version that's just for freelancers. Maybe it's because I put in I'm a freelancer and I haven't added uh, a lot of users. Um, I think for my, what I'm going to use it for though is I'm going to go for the 99 a month option and uh, do unlimited users and collaborate a lot more with other people rather than just sending them client messages. I want to really get together with people and, and you know, um, have, have deeper conversations with what's happening and everything for them. So it's going to cost you 99 a month or 49 if you're a freelancer, uh, but 99 I think is unbelievable value if it's going to get your team talking it's nothing worse than people bugging you all day or having meetings all day if you can just go in and and type um you know a message post a message anyone dealt with jane doe hello i have to call jane anyone spoke to us so for me this would be for sales right um i'm doing a sale for john at, at the bank anybody dealt with him so you would post the message and then somebody else might see it and say yeah yeah she's cool and if it's for sales you might say loves golf loves golf plays at so and so club uh supports Chef United, something like that, right? So you, your sales team is getting information from the other sales team or the other, uh, the technicians or whoever, giving you that extra content. It's to get your team talking. It's not to bother them with these emails that are coming through, right? It's to get them talking, to jump in and just, you know, quickly message, yes, I'm on that. No, I'm on that, you know? bookmark it uh move you can move it i might move that to uh john smith marketing yeah so it's all fun it's a really easy way to bob around and and there's there's obviously a phone app uh and i'm uh i believe there's um an ipad app and then you can jump in on your computers and, and really, I think it's a fun way of talking. It's just an easy way and a fun, it's all nicely set out and it's all, um, I think communication is one of the hardest thing in business. And if you have something that where you communicate on your time, but you get value out of it, then it's gonna add something to your um, communicating with your company. Uh, and for $100 a month, I think it's really good value. So give it a try, let me know what you think. Any questions as usual? Scroll down, ask below. I'll jump in and answer any that I can. Uh, give me a like, a dislike, uh, or a subscribe if you want some more videos. Let me know what you want in those new videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you soon.